do you ever imagine when you first started out with your ballroom dancing that you would be performing your own shows like you're doing now? No, not at all. It was, um, I think theatre was never something that we intended to get into at all. Yeah. Um, it was just something that naturally happened. Um, we did the Strictly Professionals tour. Um, that was the first experience of theatre, being backstage, the darkness, the you know the atmosphere um the live audience the live audience and uh, and we love we love that experience and then from then mm. we were just very very lucky that we were approached by um our producer Adam Spiegel mm. and we had you know the amazing opportunity of creating our own show and uh and from then, you know, here we are eight years later. Yeah. <laughs> and is it nice to be able to dance and not to be judged because yes. um, yeah well we stopped that way before we went back on Strictly. Yeah, but you're um, still being ju judged when you're on Strictly, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. If yeah. you want to call them judges. <laughs> <laughs> um, Ooh. 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 There we go. Yeah, it's a bit of fun, let's put it that way. Yeah. No, but the, the proper judge meant that we had when we were competing. Yeah. That's the one that basically makes your career. Um, so we were glad that that was yeah, gone once definitely, and for all. Yeah. Because the stress and mm. it was just not nice to because we in the competition you end up dancing for the judges mm. instead of dancing for ourselves yeah. or for an audience so when we went back when we went to strictly it was a, a novelty you know the fact that we we could do our own things and mm -hmm. nobody can judge us all the performances the solos that we've done with the top singers like beyonce Marco buble yeah. and we just dance for the pure enjoyment of dancing yeah that's nice and that's what's nice about doing your own shows I suppose you don't have yeah. to worry so much about the technique you yeah can just... absolutely yeah it's um it's quite freeing really yeah. you can mix things up we fuse an awful lot of dances together um we, we like to you know we, we fuse to Argentine tango with lots of different styles of dance yeah um so we kind of you know you can create your own style your own sort of energy um, and be quite creative mm. which you know in competitions you can't really you can't really do you there's have too to... many rules mm. yeah. here I'm sure people judge as well but we're never gonna find out <laughs> oh, which is nice yeah no, no but <clears throat> we can tell you know so far every night you know mm. you know we can tell that people appreciate mm. what we do yeah. so yeah, so how do you go about devising a show like this is it all your own idea or did the producer give some input um well we've got um karen bruce our director and we've worked with karen now in, on all our shows mm. so she's directed and co-choreographed all our shows um midnight tango she directed and we choreographed um and then from then on we um branched out a little bit and we used different styles of dancing so from the second show, Dance Till Dawn, we use musical theatre uh, cast members. Right. So we co-choreograph with Karen, we do all our solos, some of the group numbers, and then she does um, all the other choreographies and directs it. So it, it's, um, it's a group that works. So we have, we've kept the same um, creative team, basically mm. lighting, music, but uh, we set do, design. But we do spend months, lots of months before we even come up with a concept. You know, we get meetings after meetings, mm. picking the songs. Yeah, it starts coming on, up on with paper. ideas. Yeah, it's a long process. Mm. It's, um, it's yeah. I think creating a brand new show is very different to putting on a show that's already known. Yeah. Um, you've got to do everything from scratch, costumes, you know, <clears> set, <throat> choreographies, music. Mm. So it's a humongous task. Yeah. And finding a cast as well. I yeah, suppose. and then auditions. Yeah. Uh, you know, well, the cast, the cast is. Cast um, you know, we get. Last last auditions we did, we had about fifteen hundred mm. dancers coming to audition. Did you? Yeah, for me, I think probably <laughs> had, I think probably only had a couple. <laughs> but but um, no, so we do get you know people, young young people that they just yeah. um, how do you say? Yeah, we've qualified. had um, we've always had yeah. amazingly talented cast, and I think that's mm. probably why shows have been quite yeah. successful. Mm. Um, aside from us. You know, we surround ourselves with people who are really talented and we always try and pick individuals because we get lots of people coming to audition, but we have to be very picky and choosy because actually our casts are not very big. Mm. They're quite small, so it's about finding the right characters yeah. uh, to tell the story. Yeah. Um, and, you know, they're not just dancers, they can sing. Some of them can, can you know, they can act. Um, they have to have, you know, a, a real strong personality. Yeah. So tell us a bit about the storyline for this one. Well, this is our fourth show, so um, 
we've kind of from the beginning you know what works with born with latin is your traditional sort of romantic mm -hmm. you know love story um so that was how midnight tango started um and we kind of kept that going but twisted it in dance till dawn and then again in the last tango in the fourth one we thought we're not doing that again um so how can we come back with something completely different that's mm. going to just literally make people go wow this is you know truly different to their other shows so we thought well the one thing we haven't done is go really modern so modern music um being very clever and still kind of being able to get traditional dance styles in there to please our audience. Yeah. That always fascinates um, me how you can do that with modern yeah. styles. I think it's great. Yeah, I mean the musical <coughs> director is incredible so he, he can kind of twist things and make everything live under mm. the one sort of rolly. Um, so it's a very modern show and it's basically just about modern day life. Um, so topics like, you know, dating online, mobile phones, technology. Okay. Um, and it's about various characters within our show, and we're kind of a bit like Cupid's arrow. So we're actually, to rather than happen. the actual characters within it, we're sort of almost <clears throat> telling the story about these people yeah. in modern day life. And we're we making, capture their emotions. Yeah. And we make them meet, we make them fall in love. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, yeah. And it's, yeah, just touching upon sort of modern life. Right. Sounds good. Um, now, just going back to musical theatre. Yes. Um, You've got like the likes of Craig Revel Hallwood who have directed and also starred in musical theatre shows. Is that something either of you two would would think about doing? Well, we've seen that yeah. we've experienced that um, it's not an easy job. Mm. You know, literally need to have lots of experience. Yeah. First of all, I think now we've got yeah. to the point where we feel like okay, you know, it would be a new job. We wouldn't say no because mm. uh, we always love a challenge. Um, but it's not an easy job. No. But then what we do is not, no. it's not you know, no, it's easy not at all. Sure. You know, I think now, performing uh, uh, and yeah, after eight years, I think we could definitely, you know, t tackle that. I think if it was, a, it would be a natural progression. We've we've kind of always gone with the flow, mm. and things have just come to us. So I think if it's meant to be, then we would definitely, you know, yeah. take it on as a. Because challenge. this definitely is your last show together, isn't it? It's our last theatre show, yeah. yeah. We're not planning another theatre production. Um, I think for, we've been incredibly lucky and I think putting the fourth one together was a challenge yeah. just to come back with something different. We, we don't like just doing the same thing year in and year out. Um, mm. We could. We could keep going and just do more routines, yeah. you know, more choreographies, the same set, same music, you know. It's hard, to, it must be hard to come up with original movies. Yeah, and I think we've set our standards, standards high. so high yeah. that people are used to seeing amazing musicians, they're used to kind of coming to see a story. Mm. Yeah. And so uh, far, yeah. every single person, because we do talk to our audience, you know, our fans, mm. you know, stage door after the show, and most of the people that come to see our shows have seen all of them, so yeah. all four shows. Yeah. And literally, when I said to them, which one would you prefer? And they all go, mm, I like them all. And, <laughs> you know, so we've been lucky enough that up yeah. to now, people still say, oh, this show is amazing. You know, they still prefer this. Or, yeah. We don't want to get to the point where they go, mm, no, this, this Not one as good as the work. others. Yeah, yeah. So so this one didn't work. Yeah, yeah, it can be a bit tired, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, so. I, um, and I think also physically for us, mentally, eight shows a week for eight years, mm -hmm. even though we've had breaks. Yeah. Um, it's I would have been very much demanding. taller by now if I didn't do all those shows. <laughs> so yeah, I think it, it's, it's the right time. Yeah, Aww. Definitely the right time. Well, we were chatting earlier about the beginning of this tour when you hurt your back. Yes. That must have that been That never horrible. happened before. As I was going to say, have you ever had to go on without no, it? Yeah, that's what no. I mean, because we, we put so much energy into what we do, you know, because we really, really care. Um, and we just got to the point where it was just too much, especially on this show we do doing some extra solos. Mm. We're doing a lot more, probably the most we've mm. ever done really? in any other show. So it looks like the older we get, the more we do <laughs> instead of going the other way around. So <laughs> yeah. yeah, the stress, the traveling, apparently they all affect your body, you know, the same way. So yeah, that happened in front of an audience. Oh, it was on a Saturday night, oh, it was our yeah. very last show where we did the spin into this drop and yes, it just my back went 
did you carry so, on or did were you like, I was going to luckily like, it was right know, at yeah, the end so we did the whole show it was and, just one um, more number to do yeah it was just the encore so they you know the audience still got to see a full show luckily yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. so yeah it was a very cha- ta- challenging time yeah. but because okay. um, that never happened I mean 25 years we've we'll yes. been dancing together mm. You um, must have and obviously we get the pains, you know, there mm. and then, like everybody else, mm. people do get it just by going to work. Um, so, yeah, that wasn't a great moment, you can imagine, because when something like this happened and you even struggle to walk, you mm. think, I'm never going to be able to dance again. That, yeah. that, that was my worry, like, because I couldn't yeah. even walk and mm. I thought, I'm never going to be able to mm. dance again. So, then ev- eventually with physiotherapy, you know, after that, two, three weeks, mm. you know, I could manage to walk and move a bit and take things slowly. Yeah. What so was to, it that you actually did? Um, it was basically like a strain, like, it's not like a slip disc, but a little bit. It's right. a, like an overlap, something mm. like that. So it's mm. not, it's not a bad injury. Right. Um, oh, thank goodness. No, I know, but it's, you know, I'm very delicate. So yeah, I don't like pain. I don't like pain. If I cut my finger, please struggle for me to dance, really? let alone. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, slabby nose. Yeah. So, yeah, so basically, yeah, I had to take some time out, and that never happened before. So we got a couple of people to, you know, rescue the show and yeah. replace me. Keep it going. That yeah. must have been quite yeah. a lot of pressure for the guy who had to, or the guys. Yeah, we had to. two. We had two. I don't yeah. think they, they even was, thought uh, about it because they didn't, they didn't have the have time, time to think. Mm. It was literally, they got there in the morning, by the evening You're they were already they performing. Were on, yeah. So yeah. Yeah. they never got around the process yeah. of what, what are we doing. They were yeah. just like learning steps and go on stage and perform. So yeah, so Good you can imagine so. when yeah, yeah, amazing, yeah. They actually really loved it. So okay. yeah. yeah. Cool. <laughs> and did the audience were they were the audience? Yeah, okay? they were great. They were obviously, you know, disappointed because it's not what they're expecting. Mm. You know, I think when you advertise two names that's what they they want to see mm. so as good as the other two guys were and they were amazing, they were amazing, amazing um amazing. people will always have an air of disappointment you know yeah. because they've come their to see Should us give them a quick yeah, yeah pasquale pasquale from italy and leo, and from, leo argentina. from argentina oh. was the tango so, yeah. guy it was meant to be yeah so they were amazing yeah, yeah. and they yeah they did a, a fab job and <clears> saved the day good yeah. you ever had any uh, embarrassing moments on stage um, we, I mean, were we doing eight shows a week, you know, for few, months on yeah, end, few things little always things happen. Because I wonder, because it's such, the tango is such a passionate dance, isn't mm. it? And you have to be so serious. Yeah. Do you ever, like, does your mind ever wander and you just think, oh, yeah. think of something funny? The mind goes at times. Yeah, the mind goes at times. Especially towards the end of the tour, it uh, makes me laugh just <laughs> thinking about it. You can't just help it. You can't yeah, help it's, it. um, after about five, six weeks of constant eight shows a week, then your mind just, you know, because it's, your body's doing it automatically because you're just constantly doing the show. Yeah. And so it's very easy to actually multitask and think about something completely different whilst mm. you're actually doing a routine. It's like when, when people drive, they commute to work or they commute home. Sometimes yeah. they get there and say, oh my gosh, How did, did I that really drive? Yeah, I've yeah. just written it's a book in my thing. head you know, yes. at the same time. So it's the same sort of thing. And then other things happen where something very silly can happen on stage and we just get the giggles, it's whether so it's funny. us or the other cast it's, members. It's so funny because even something small that, you know, let's say someone, you know, loses the shoe and it's then amplified. all day yeah. we yeah. talk about that because yeah. it's the one novelty thing that yeah. happened yeah. in the week. I think generally you tend to wait <laughs> for that. moments like that to yeah. get you through. Because yeah. again, you know, eight shows a week, it can become quite repetitive as much mm. as we you know, you enjoy doing it. I think it's natural for anything that you repeat over and over again. You get days where you're like, right, okay, we're doing this again. Mm-hmm. So you always wait for little things like that to happen because it just is a talking point and, yeah. you know, it just keeps everyone on their toes. Yeah, that's good. Sounds like really good fun, actually. Really. <laughs> yeah, but you're, how many weeks have you got left now? We've got two, two weeks. Two yeah. weeks. We'll do South yeah. Hens and then we've got Leeds. That yeah. would be a, a final week. Yeah. Ah, so you're counting down the day. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. Well, we better let you. Well, go. you say that, but then when we are on stage, when we get, you know, towards the end of the show, where we do probably the, our favorite numbers, you know, we do a beautiful Argentine tango. You know, it's you know, seeing the reaction from the people, it's like wow. Yeah. You know. But well, that's what. So you're never going to be fed up of it. And the actor so, will tell you that yeah. he's done a long yeah. run on a play that yeah. it's that buzz from the audience, yeah. isn't yeah. it, that gets you through it's it? Like, that's yeah. it. Yeah. 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 Right. Well, I better let you go and do thank your you warm up. Thank you very much. And it's been yes. such yes. a pleasure yes. to talk to you. Thank both. you. Thank, thank you for talking much. to South End Theatre Scene today. Thank you. Thank you.